Well, precious, good morning to you. Thanks for joining me as we're continuing in our um, time. The book of the Revelation chapter 19. We're coming down to the end of 2021. What a year this has been. And here we and we are also coming down to the end of the book of Revelation. So Revelation 19, 17. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun. And with a loud voice, he called to all the birds that fly directly overhead. Come, gather for the great supper of God, the great supper of God, the great end time supper to eat the flesh of kings. So this can be quite literal birds and vultures coming to eat the flesh of kings, the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, the flesh of horses and their riders, and the flesh of all men, both free and slave, both small and great. So everyone. So there's going to be this 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 feast. For the vultures of the air of these men now why it says i saw the beast and the kings of the earth with their armies gathered to make war against him who was sitting on the horse and i guess i remember two weeks ago we were looking at the return of jesus and um, the heaven opened and um son coming on the white horse and he is called faithful and true in righteousness he judges and makes war and he has his robe dipped in blood and he's called the word of god and um, the Bible also tells he's called King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So here they are coming. He, and he saw the, the, the beast and the kings of the earth and their, with their armies gathered to make war against him who is coming in the clouds of glory. This is Jesus. And to make war against him who is sitting on the horse and against his army. Let's see what's going to happen. And the beast was captured. Here we're seeing the end of evil the end of wickedness in the world the beast was captured and with it the false prophet who in his presence had done the signs by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshiped his image so the antichrist is captured the false prophet is captured the false prophet who had done all these um, counterfeit signs and miracles and wonders to deceive people, deceive those who were worshippers of the Antichrist. And um, they were worshipping him and they were also worshipping the image that the false prophet had set up. These two were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with sulfur. If you remember back in... It's chapter 13, I'm reading from verse number 14. By the signs that it is allowed to work in the presence of the beast, it deceived those who dwell on earth, telling them to make an image for the beast that was wounded by the sword and yet lived. It was allowed to give bread to the image of the beast, so that the image of the beast might even speak and might cause those who would not worship the image of the beast to be slain. So the false prophet has set up this image um, for everyone to worship the Antichrist. But here is the end of it all. The Bible says that they were thrown alive, alive into the lake of fire that burns us over. They're not going to die and then get into um, eternity and um, their destination, eternity. But they're going to be thrown alive, literally alive into the lake of fire. The Bible says it burns with sulfur. You know, most people, um, before they head into whether heaven or hell, they will die first that's the first death unless we are raptured but here's the antichrist and the false prophet entering into hell without um, going through the gates of death and the bible says the rest were slain by the sword that came from the mouth of him and this chapter ends and the rest of us were slain by the sword that came from the mouth of him who was sitting on the horse and all the birds were gorged with their flesh. So Jesus, he just speaks the word and the enemies are destroyed. You know, as, as we um, come here, coming down to the end of Revelation, we're seeing the victory of the church, the victory of God and Christ um, unfolded before our very eyes. When it seems as if the church is being defeated and the kingdom of God is... Um, under attack and, and and it's not going to prevail as we read down to the end we see that 
um, there is victory in Jesus. There is victory in the kingdom of God. So here today, um, as we close, is the, the, false prof, the, the false prophet and the Antichrist are thrown alive into the lake of fire. Jesus comes and he brings victory to the church. And that is what we are looking forward to. That's why we can be excited. No matter what's going on around us, the doom and the gloom, the bad news and Omicron and all that, we can keep our eyes toward heaven to Jesus. He is returning. Our conquering lion of the tribe of Judah is returning. Amen. So lift up your heads and put a smile on your face. Jesus is coming. Amen.